Hi guys, um, so sorry that it took so long to make a video, but I wanted to, um, tell you about the time that I met Cameron Dallas was, let's see, Tuesday, um, yeah, so me and my friend, we were on our way to go actually see Paul Walker's, um, memorial site, and, um, I got the story um, that he was at Katsuya downtown LA and like we were like probably right by the exit and so I told her and she's like okay let's go so we went and like we were there for it took us like 15 minutes to get there or something like that and um, when we got there it like took a long time to park and stuff um, and so we finally parked and, um, we went to Starbucks, which is across the street and waited for a while because we didn't know how long he was going to take. Um, then we started walking over there and there was already like girls standing there and waiting for him. Um, probably like 20 girls or something like that. And they were, like, all in front of the restaurant, and, like, people were, like, coming in and out, and, like, everybody was, like, blocking it, and, um, they, like, had to tell us to, like, move to the side so that people could, like, come that was, like, actually going into the restaurant. Um, and so we waited, and we were probably there for, like, an hour and a half. Um, my friend had to go pay for the meter because it, like, went over. And so, um, finally when he came out, it was really cool because I was, like, one of the second person that saw him. And, um, because I was on the stairs. And, uh, he was really nice and came down and, like, took a picture with me. And then, um, like, he got lower for me so that our picture would come out good. And then, um, I asked if he would kiss me on the cheek. And he did. And he was, um, laughing because... <laughs> My friend was taking a while to take the picture, and he was just, like, kissing my cheek for a while. And so it was kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> and then he uh, asked my friend to take a picture with us. And so we took that picture, and it was really nice. And then I was, like, gave him a kiss bye and, like, said thank you and that I love you and, like, you're amazing. <clears throat> and then we left because there was, like, so many girls. And so um, we went back to the car and I was like freaking out that I met him and it was just so like shocking um because I didn't think I was going to <laughs> and then um we decided that um I'd recently like found out where he lived and so um we went to his apartment and um we thought like maybe he would end up going there afterwards so we waited for like probably like 10 15 minutes and he ended up like getting dropped off and he was like walking to the apartment like by himself and my friend was like he's walking by yourself himself if you want to go talk to him like you're gonna have to go like now so I was like okay and so I got out and I was like super nervous and I didn't want him to freak out because like it was kind of stalkerish <laughs> and I felt kind of weird but like I wanted to talk to him and so I was like hi Cameron and he's like hey and I was like, um, I know this is crazy, but, like, can I talk to you? He's like, sure, that's fine. And then, um, he's like, let's go sit over here. So we sat down next to, like, um, some steps. And my friend went to go park. And then, um, so I was, like, alone with Cameron for a while. And, like, talked about, um, just, like, how influence he has been on my life. And, um, like, when I first saw him on Vine and Nash, uh, I was going through, like, a really hard time, and, um, <clears throat> I am, was in rehab, actually, and for an eating disorder, and so we talked about that, and, like, he asked questions, and, like, asked me how I'm doing, and, like, why I have a problem, and all that stuff, and so it was, like, really cool, because I just, I've always wanted to just, like, tell him, like, how amazing he has been to me. And so we talked about that, and then he asked about my, he saw my tattoo, which I just got, which you can't really tell. But anyways, um, 
he asked me, because it says faith on it, and he asked me if I was a Christian, and I said yes, and he said me too, and like we talked about that for a little bit, and then he he told me about a tattoo that he wants, but he's like, I um, don't think I would get it, because after I get it, like I would feel like I would regret it, and so I was like, oh, okay, and then um, he came, or my friend came, and he like asked how old we were, and I'm 24, which is, like, a lot older than most of his fans, but, um, <clears throat> I asked us, like, where are we from, and, uh, I'm from the town that, actually, his sister went to Cal Poly, um, which is the college there, and, like, we talked about that for a little bit, and then, um, he, uh, told me about some, like, stuff that was going on with him, and, like, how his acting career is, like, he really wants to be an actor, and, like, he's doing, you know, acting classes and stuff like that, and, um, it was just really cool to be, like, um, able to just sit and, like, talk to him, and he was gen very genuine and, like, humble about, uh, his life, and, like, I asked him, like, how long he wants to do this, and, like, if he wants to, like, stop social media, or if he wants to, like, be a full-blown, like, actor, and he's like, yeah, I really want to be an actor, like, I want to be, like, the next, like, Leo DiCaprio <laughs> in Titanic, <laughs> and, um, which is cool to just see that he, like, really has a goal in his life, um, and he also, like, told us about some stuff that was going on, like, I guess, like, 15 girls came to their apartment, like, door, and was, like, knocking and stuff, and it's been kind of crazy, and, um, he was, like, talking about fans, like, some fans kind of get kind of crazy, which made me kind of feel weird, because, like, I, like, met him at his place, you know, and, um, but he was super nice about it, and so it was really cool, um, and then we just, um, I don't know, we were just talking about a lot of different stuff, and it was just amazing because, like, I've been wanting to, like, talk to him. I never thought this would happen, like, ever. And I got, like, 20 minutes by myself with him. And um, it was just really cool. And I really, like, thank Cameron for even doing this. Like, you know, most people wouldn't. And he's really busy, like, all the time. And so, um, <clears throat> I just for him to take the time out was really awesome. So, yeah, that was my experience with Cameron. Um, I just know that, like, a lot of girls, like, want to meet him and have this opportunity, and it might take a while, but I, like, think that everybody eventually will meet him, and, um, when they do, like, take the time, like, try to, like, you know, be kind and respectful to him, because he gets a lot of stuff from fans, and, like, just, um, I don't know. Anyways, so, this is my video. I hope you like it. Okay, bye.